It's Brutungo, and once again we will have Cheshire on the camera, but we are doing the last part of our game collection, and I just wanted to do real quick, see here we go, we have 858 digital games on our PS4, PS5, and the reason I'm showing that is because, just to show that most of our games now are digital, we have a few hundred on the PS3, we have some of course on our Wii, Wii U, and Switch, and DS, and the reason I'm doing that is because um, we have a lot of games to play. And the games we play on our channel, we play the games we play because we th they're fun, or we hope they'll be fun. And uh, we hope people will enjoy watching the games that we play. But in the same regard, uh, we try to play games that not a lot of people have played because we'd rather play be like one in a hundred people that have played the game than one in, you know, a million people that have played the game. So, uh, that being said... At the same time, if there are any games anyone wants to see us play, leave a comment down below, and uh, we will try to get to it. We may even already have it, so um, just just to put that out there, that we are willing to take, you know, kind of requests, uh, if you will. I could scroll through this a bit, but it takes a while for them to load. You can sort of see if I go slow. Some of the games in the list here, I'll just go through it. Really quickly here so we can get to the rest of the games we have to go through. But there are a lot of games in here. And there you go. Uh, but we are going to do the last part. This will be part three of our physical game collection. It went over to the side. And it will include our PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 games. I don't have any physical PS5 games. They're all digital. And then... Um, our PS2, like we already mentioned, is packed up, but if I ever pull that back out, we'll probably do like a part four to do our PlayStation 2 games. But uh, yeah, that's it. So without further ado, let's get into the last part of this game collection. Okay, so these are our PlayStation games, Sony games that we have physical. So are, are you ready? Here we go. Yeah. We have Bulletstorm, PlayStation 3. We're going to do the PS3 games first inside. It's got a, the instructions are in here, but it's got a little flyer for a dragon age in front of it. And there's the back. I probably won't show the backs of these, because the backs of these aren't, uh... Interesting. They don't really have much on them, so we'll just do the fronts and the insides. There's Dead Island, the Game of the Year edition. There you go, Dead Island. Assassin's Creed, the first Assassin's Creed, the greatest hits. Assassin's Creed. There you go. Bada boom, bada bing. Assassin's Creed 2. Once again, a greatest hits edition. And one of the nice fancy red cases. Because it feels kind of funny because the PlayStation color is associated with being blue, but we have red cases. Assassin's Creed 3. There you go. Oh, don't steal my code! Oh, no. I don't care. You can steal the code. I don't care. I don't even know if it works anymore. Yeah, it probably doesn't even work anymore, but I don't really care. When I say don't steal my code on old games, I'm, I'm, it's a joke, gross, because most of them don't even work, and they don't matter anyway, because a lot of these games are, like, not, uh... Non-existent on the PS3 yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. So, Assassin's Creed Revelations. There you go. You play, Which is no longer you play. it's like Ubisoft Connect. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I've actually played through every Assassin's Creed game except for the uh, newest one. The the one. Yeah, I haven't played through Mirage, and I'm probably not going to get the the the, the Samurai one until later, until it goes on sale. Superhero Squad, the Infinity Gauntlet. I'm a big fan of Superhero Squad. Like that, the back I have an actual have. CD of the cartoon. And we didn't mention this, but the Wii one that we showed, the cover, if you notice, Spider-Man was in his black suit and Captain America was in his U.S. agent suit because they were like, it was a special version, but those were the versions of them in that. The Vanquish. Awesome, awesome game. This has been re-released not too long ago, though. They re-released the Vanquish. And then we have Fairy Tale Fights, which is a really fun game. And bloody. Yeah, me and Cheshire played through this entire game. 
It's pretty funny. It's 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 a good game. Think Happy Tree Friends, but you actually get a game that yeah, with, doesn't involve animals. Yeah, with fairy tales. Yeah, I'm shifting Heavenly around. Sword. Everywhere. Awesome game, but very short. Very very short game. Oh, sword. Brutal Legend. Awesome game. Jack Black is the MC. Jack Black kind of enunciate very well there. Brutal Legend. I have a cat that is trying to bother me. Reckoning, Kingdom of nice Amalur. This just came out again too about, I think, what was it, like two years ago they re-released this. There's more yes. codes. There's another thing, it's Universal. You can see it. I don't think it's Universal though. Which makes good luck. Conan! <coughs> Conan is awesome until you get to Final Boss. Final Boss is pretty, pretty tooth. Conan. Knight's Contract. Oblivion, the fifth anniversary edition. It has a sleeve because it is a steel book. I will show the front and back of the steel books. And then that is the inside. With the full map. map. Yep. And it is two discs. Sylvie, what are you doing? Like this over. We got Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. Awesome game. Garaway. All the Castlevania games are pretty awesome, except for you know a couple. Ninja Gaiden, Sigma. Oh no. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma Two. That is, in fact, it's a legitimate name. Yeah, it is. And then I bought I, a used copy for five bucks of a brain Ninja dead Gaiden, meme. Uh, uh, Yaba, I think it is. Yaba. Yaba. I don't remember. I don't remember what's uh, what's called. Little Big Planet, the original, probably the best. I mean, Little Big Planet Two was actually really good as well. Little Big Planet it was Sack Boy. Where it all started. And we got Disney Infinity. I mentioned in a video coming up in my collection video, I mentioned, which is going to be posted after this, but we have all the figures and characters for Disney Infinity. We got everything. Disney Infinity 2.0, the box and the disc aren't really that fancy. They're just words. I couldn't even take the time to put a picture. See? 3.0. This was the third one. I'm pretty sure that was the Marvel one, was it not? I believe so. Yeah. One was Marvel and one was Star Wars. And we got Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix. I have all the Kingdom Hearts in one way or another. I think I have them all digitally now, anyway. For three bucks, Grand Theft Auto 4. This isn't our only copy of Grand Theft Auto 4. We have another copy that isn't a used copy that was given to us. So, I mean, technically it's used. But it wasn't like purchased, used. It was given to us. But that was three bucks, so can't do that. Far Cry Four. There you go, Far Cry Four. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. This is based on the cartoon that came out. I actually really like this game. I'm a pretty big Pac-Man fan. I believe I played some of it too. It I really good. like this game. And here's the sequel. I haven't beat the sequel, but I played through a good portion of the first part of it. And then the Ghostly Adventures 2! And they're pretty good games. I like those games. And then we got Adventure Time. Explore the dungeon because I don't know. There you go. This uh, game, that's the one with the stupid election that would show up if you didn't do the stage fast enough. I don't remember, but I remember that we could not beat this game. Because it would crash, no? Yeah, it kept crashing on one of the stages. So we got about through the like first, I think, quarter, and then part of the game kept crashing every time. Genji, Days of the Blade. Oh, Genji. oh now I see where Overwatch got that name. It's a historical name, I believe. And this game is the only game we have that doesn't have an actual case. And 
it has Hot Shots Golf out of bounds. The only PlayStation game that doesn't have a special case. Uh, the Ultimate Edition of Dragon Age Origins. And it just has one disc, but it has the two games right there. And Dragon Age 2. The one with the Ur Dragon. No, that doesn't have an Ur Dragon. Oh. The thing of Dragon's Dog Mubber. Ah. Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, uh, yeah, because Dragon Age is that weird thing with, like, the companions. Yes, the system where you have all your like companions and, and you camp and stuff. Uh, Lego Batman 2, DC Superheroes. A little insulting, but the prerequisite of, like, the Baldur's Gate since, uh, system. Except I thought you could choose who was your companion by, like, just coming across open world characters, no? I don't remember. Uh, Batman 3, Beyond Gotham. Yeah. These are a couple of the better LEGO games, the Batman ones. All the other later LEGO games are pretty much follow the same formula as those. That. The LEGO movie video game. There it is. The LEGO movie video game with Emmett. The awesome LEGO guy. Red Dead Redemption. The first Red Dead Redemption. And then we have the Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year edition as well. It's a little bit more beat up. Because, like I said, I think this one was given to us, but this has a map in it of the Red Dead stuff. But I think this is one of the ones that was given to us. We had a guy that gave us a bunch of games because he no longer wanted them. This Tomb Raider. Another code. Everybody got to steal all my codes. No. I don't think it matters. I don't care anyway. It's a PlayStation 3 games. Drake's Fortune and Among Thieves 2. This is the Uncharted bundle. There you go. There's some glare on the front of that. Yet. It's still glare. <laughs> okay, that one's okay. The other one, though. It has a map. Yeah, there we go. Better. Yeah. Now it looks pretty. It looks bonita. And Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. I am a fan of the Uncharted. Soul Calibur 4. And we pretty much have all of these Soul Calibers in one way or another, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is the one that has Darth Vader. And Yoda. And Yoda, yeah. And see Vader up there at the top. Injustice. Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition, maybe. Greatest Hits. This was the first Injustice. And then we have Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4. And the other. Street Fighter 4. I think that's Street Fighter X Tekken, right? Yes. Street Fighter 4 and Street, Street Fighter 4 Arcade and Street Fighter X Tekken. And one of the worst fighting games of all time. The PlayStation All Star that was Battle actually Royale. Fun. This game is horrible. I cannot emphasize how horrible a fighting game this game is. It is just trash. All right, they go to mention. That's one of them, or the one. Yeah, they go to mention. Batman Arkham City. I have all these digital now, so I don't play the physical anymore. We also have the prequel to these, which is, well, it's the prequel to Asylum, which is Arkham Blackgate, which was a DS game, I believe, and then it was released digitally for PlayStation 3. Origins. Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 3. Isn't that the one where, like, the face model stuff was so broken? There's another, there's another code there everybody can try to take. Like I said, I don't even know if they work anymore, so I'll knock yourselves out. Have fun. Midnight Club, Los Angeles Complete Edition. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. This is the game that Cheshire was thinking of. 
This game has the, uh, the the dragon that you fight. The new one's out. You know how it works. The new Dragon's Dogma. Dog, Dragon Dogma 2. Dark Arisen was like the expansion sort of game that had the original and then the extra stuff with the island. But this had the uh, Ur Dragon, which I don't know why they didn't put in the new game. But it was sort of a collective fight that everybody would do and gradually you guys would uh, deplete its health until it went down. And it was pretty cool. It's kind of interesting. But they are Shadows of the Damned. This is being re-released or just has re-released. There you go. It's an okay game. I, you know I how wouldn't say... counterproductive it would be to put a giant steel skull on your gun? You know how horrible it the talks, balance though, is? It talks, though, so it's pretty cool. But, uh... Then we have Lollipop Chainsaw. And this is coming out, I think, next month. It's being re-released in September. Called Lollipop Chainsaw Repopped. And, and hopefully... I actually... I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebuy it. I'm gonna repurchase it just because I. Hopefully, can. it's not wokeized. It's not supposed to be, which is why either Shadow of the Damned. I, I heard rumors are flying that it is uh, going to be exactly the same. So. Oh good. I hope so. Because that game. House of the is... Dead Overkill. Extended cut. There you go. Correct me if I'm wrong. Lollipop <laughs> Chainsaw will lose most of its charm if it's. Uh, There's literally a trophy for looking up Julian's dress. So there you go. So that's, uh, yeah. So if they, they make it woke. And, like, I, I don't want to spoil anything about the game, but the game's premise itself and aspects of it are just full of adult humor jokes. So, like, you, you couldn't do the game properly and and try to woke it. Like, it just won't work. Naughty Bear Gold Edition. I have a real problem with the Naughty Bear game. And the problem I have with it is I really like the game, but I just I can never get into it. I, I play a couple stages and then it's like I'm I'm bored with it. I just I can't stay I can't stick with it. There you go. Day one edition! One piece, ultimate world red. You know, Luffy stuff. Luffy the monkey! Eat of the gum gum fruit. Now he's all rubbery. Uh Splatter House. Ladder House, there you go. Oh, so Jason X? No, it's it's cooler than that. Man. The original Splatter House is also too. Resident Evil 6 Anthology, and this has like every game up to 6. Pretty much. There's a few it doesn't have. Most of them were. Oh, I can't, I can't show it. Did you clip it? I might have, I don't know why. I can't show the inside of this one because it gives the game codes. I don't know if they work, so let me flip it. Because 6 is a disc, but Resident Evil 1, Director's Cut, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Nemesis, Resident Evil 4, and Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition are all digital. And on the other side of this are their codes. So if we captured the codes, I'm going to have to send to that because I don't know. I don't know if those still work. I don't know if the PS3 shop is still up. They said it was up. They said it was going down. Then I, And I don't know why. There's the back here, too. Anybody wants to see it? Mod Nation Racers, the, the best, best racer karting game all? ever. Yeah, this is like the best karting game. I, I wish they remastered it or something, because the is, car yeah. creation itself was wild. This game desperately needs a Re release. Yeah. It needs a sequel or it needs to be remastered or something. It, Hell, and you can pretty Souls. much just take it and just put it back on the shop without changing anything. I have a bunch of the Yakuza. I'll show you the back of this one because this shows. It's basically Yakuza Zombie Edition. It's kind of neat. Uh, it's not technically canon with the rest of the Yakuza stuff, but it's kind of cool. But I have most of the Yakuza stuff digitally. And we got Phineas and Ferb. Do we ever play the that? Dimension. Huh? Do we ever play that? Oh, yeah. It's also got four actual Blu ray episodes in it, too. So there's actual episodes of Phineas and Ferb included on the disc as well. Huh. So it's it's pretty cool, pretty cool. I like Phineas and Ferb. Okay. I don't know where Perry went, but oh, yeah, Cartman. Watch Dogs, and this has like special crap. Ah, uh, the game where the car flipped you. Care. Sorry, launched you. And there's Catherine. I actually have the collector's edition of this, which is cool because the collector's edition is one of the pizza boxes from the game, and they came with a full length. Body, uh, full body pillow case with Catherine on it, 
And then it came with uh, a t-shirt that has hearts on it, represent, you know, the health bar. And it's, it's just a really cool collection. It's unique. It's really unique. There you go. Catherine. Awesome game. That also got remade too with new stages and stuff not long ago. Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure. Spyro went on an adventure with Skylanders. Skylanders Giants. Skylanders Giants. And Skylanders Superchargers. And unlike the Wii U, this one is in its case. There you go. Hi. Okay, so we're about halfway through the PlayStation stuff, but we did find stuff that we were missing. We got one PlayStation 2 game that was still out that didn't get packed up. Cheshire kept this out to display with her Godzilla collection. So, it's Godzilla. Save the Earth. We bought it used way, way back when. Oh, that's not what's in here. What? You put Red Ninja. Ah! Memory card in there. We were supposed to, like, fix those because they were, like, kind of. Oh, you have them all mixed up? Yeah, so from when I was a little up. kid. And we never went back up. and fixed oh, them. <laughs> well, you know, two well, of the old games we have. You know where Red Ninja is, and you know where Godzilla is. Anyway, we did find our Wii U. Ki Wii U. It was in Will's Cheshire's. It was in Cheshire's Wii U. And then, much of our tree. Try tree three. Tree try try tree. So we did have it. It was just in Cheshire's room. And then so was Smash Brothers Brawl. And that is Smash Brothers Brawl. So the only discs we did not find were Superchargers and Red Steel Two, which we still think that uh, my son has in his Wii when he left. But he hasn't checked yet. Yes. So okay, back to the PS3 games. We have Fist of the North Star. Rage. He's unhappy. He's raging. Dragon's Crown. Good game. Dragon's Crown. I think when we got this, it came with an art book as well for like a creator bonus or something. Yes. The God of War Saga Collection. This has five full games from the God of War stuff. There you go, disc 1 has God of War and God of War 2. And disc 2 has God of War 3. Something on the back of that disc, okay. Oh. They're, they're also, uh... I'm getting some glare. These two are also in it. Downloadable voucher. So you get Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta also in this. So, God of War 1, 2, 3, and these two. Those, those are the five games that come in the collection. And then we have God of War Ascension. That's a steel book. There's the back of the steel book, not the fancy. And then you have God of War Ascension. And you have The Last of Us in there? No, that was just a uh, ad. Saints Row 4 Commander in Chief Edition. And this came with a collector's edition, which we have in the background of this video. And then, uh, look at my codes. I'm going to zoom in on your code. I don't think they matter anyway, to be honest. But I'm more concerned with that. There you go. Central 4. You probably already zoomed in on it. I don't no. really care too much. It's not a huge deal, it's just... I need to make sure I put them in the other way. There's a Central Get Out of Hell Devil's Workshop Pack. See. The Saints Row Premier Edition, Get Out of Hell, Hooray. Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition, and it includes all the DLCs and everything thrown in there. Yep. Yippy skippy. Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition, same thing, comes with all the bells and whistles. That stuff around this disc, too. Oh. Yeah, it has like vault numbers on it. Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. It's glaring. 
There you go. Gundam Warriors 2. Dynasty Warriors, the Gundam version. Sonic Generations. And we got the collector's edition of this, which had the, uh... Actually, no, we didn't. I'm wrong about that. That was the other one, but it was digital only. Oof, did not come from physical. Oof. I had to shift my back. 3D Dot Heroes. There you go. That was, uh... This game. Cases open up. It's seen better days, but... It's a good game. So caliber five. That game. It's not fun because of that guy right there. Nightmare? You know, oh like, yes. You don't like nightmare? Nightmare was a nightmare, especially if you tried to use nightmare this against me. This is the one that nightmare. has Ezio as a playable character. And that was to this. That's the collector's edition right there. It looks like a book. Cool. Nothing too fancy. And now we're on the PS4 games. And we got Dragon Quest Builders, Day One Edition. There you go. There's a code right there. Uh oh. Don't steal my code. Those codes might still be functioning. They might still work because this is like PS4. Uh, That's glaring like no tomorrow. There you go. Dragon Quest Builders Two, and it's taped. I must not have played that one yet. Yeah, you haven't played it yet. I thought I had it digitally though. I thought I thought I ended up getting it digital. Just cost three. There you go. Godzilla! And it took forever, but I did platinum this. This is the one that took forever to get the platinum. And I used the background from one of the stages for my PlayStation One of the ways profile. you can end the yeah, route for it Godzilla. Is, uh, Godzilla shaking hands with Jim Jaguar. This is Destiny, the collection, and it came with Destiny, Expansion 1, Expansion 2. The Taking King, and the new adventure, Rise of Iron, which is kind of irrelevant, because Destiny, I don't think, has even been around for a while, because it all went to, you know, Destiny 2, and even Destiny 2 is pretty much dead now. Agents of Mayhem, legal action, and Somehow that scene. doesn't seem nearly as bad as the recent game now. Oh, uh, this game is not, I just want to make sure the codes aren't facing out. There you go, Agents of Mayhem. This game is only like half as good now since no more online support, so a lot of the content you can't really take full advantage of. This Assassin's Creed game, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, I have not beat it. It's the only console Assassin's Creed that I have not beat, because this is not like the normal Assassin's Creed. It's like a side-scroller strategy, sort of. I just couldn't get into it. I played it a little bit, but it's just not my sort of, not my sort of thing. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, there you go. Uh, we already showed the other Uncharted, The Last Guardian. Rise of the Tomb Raider, 20 year celebration. And uh, this is actually a sleeve. It's all metallic y. How do you pick it up? I don't know. Are you picking that up? Yes, he's picking it up. And then this is the case. And it looks like it a, is book. a book. And then we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and this is also a sleeve, because it is a steel book. Go. Pop it open, and there is, I think there might be code or something in there. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a little book, or, or I don't remember what they are, they're like postcards or something. I haven't ever opened them, so they're still in their seal. And then we have Red Dead Redemption, the Ultimate Edition, and it is in a box. It's not the prerequisite to the, the uh, other one. And then it is a steel book. It Red actually has it actually has some cool design on it. And I gotta make sure. Okay, yeah, no clips are facing out. And it is two discs. There you go. Because it's a massive game. Uh, no. There's a play disc, and then there's like a uh, extra content disc. If I remember correctly, maybe it is two discs, I don't remember. Do you remember? I have no clue. And then, this is what also comes in, it's a map of the area. 
I'm just going to set that to the side because it's going to be a little trickier doing that all in there. And pull these over. Okay. Push that back. Don't knock over the other stack. There you go. It's fine. No got Biomutant. And we did get the collector's edition of this. I have the uh, statue. I could pan shelf. over to it, but nah. There you go. Huh? So I could pan over to it, but nah. Pixar. Which is okay. It's, it's like a pixelized arc. It's like Minecraft arc. Pretty much exactly what it is. It's Minecraft made with the arc stuff. Cyberpunk 2077. And I have the physical copy because, well, they took it off the digital stores. So if I wanted to get it, I had to buy it like this. This comes with a bunch of, you know, stuff. Postcards and various other things. And I just set that there for the same reason I put the other one. And then we have, of course, Cyberpunk. And you pop it open. And it's, of course, two discs. Play disc and the data disc, because this is a PS4 version. And we got Dragon's Crown Pro. And this is a sleeve oh, as well. Me. Because this is actually, like, textured. So it's not flat. It's a steel book, but it's textured. On the back we have the dragon. Which doesn't seem as textured. And then on the inside we have the disc, and it has like the entire lobby. If you take the disc out, you get the entire like mission area where you select a character. And then there are the cards that came with it that I have not opened. And then we got the DLC download code for Ragnarok. I don't know why that's in there. I must have not seen it in there. But uh, there's a Sackboy Big Adventure. We have the collectors for this as well. The disc it's is in, in the yeah, system the disc currently. Is in the system currently. So we do have that. And it came with a little stuffed tiger, dude, that's in my it's in my collection video if you watch that collection video, which is lengthy. The Sure All Humans, we also have the collector's edition of this. We got a little crypto statue. And No Man's Sky, there you go. No Man's Sky, which started out as a ho-hum game and now is pretty awesome. And I avoided the hype. I don't know how it happened. I didn't even know about this game, didn't know it was coming out. Saw a big cardboard cutout sort of thing at GameStop. That's when I started learning about the game. Did pre-order, did do anything special. Came out, everybody's upset. So the week it came out, I got it for like 40 bucks on sale at EB Games. And I knew exactly what to expect. I'm like, ah, it doesn't seem that bad for what it is. And then, of course, it ended up being something really cool later. So. Darksiders Genesis. Big fan of the Darksiders games. I have all the Darksiders games. That's one where you play as Strife. Mass Effect Andromeda. I didn't think this game was half as bad as everybody said it was. Uh, it had tons of glitches and, and actual issues. That was bad. But the storyline and the stuff like that, I didn't think it was all the bad. I thought it was not, not too bad. Starlink. We have pretty much all the physical stuff to this game. And we already showed the uh, well, Switch version. Switch version is the best version because you get Star Fox, Star Fox content along with the normal content. And two unopened this cases. It's not even open. This is the Iron Man VR that came with our VR because we bought it as a bundle. And then it also came with the PlayStation VR sort of thing. Uh, my VR didn't really do much except collect desk. <laughs> Pretty much what it's doing, or what it was doing. I finally packed it up. Uh, I don't recommend buying a VR. It's not really worth it in my opinion unless you're going to actually play a lot. It's one of the things where you buy it and you say, It's the hype friends, that sells hey, it, nothing else. Have you seen VR? And they're like, no? Oh, you got to see it. And then they try it, and you pretty much go, wow, that's pretty cool. And then that's it. And then and then the hype's over. So it then was we got sold based off of hype. That is glaring like no tomorrow. See it? It's beautiful. Batman Arkham Knight. There you go. And the family pack of, you know, games. You got Scrabble, you got Turbo Pursuit, Monopoly Plus, and Risk. 
all in one nice Ubisoft bundle. Because yeah. Ubisoft makes the best games, right? Uh, Fallout 4. Trying to keep a camera stable when you shift because you're in pain is not easy. Yeah, Fallout Anywho, 4. Fallout 4, look at that. Season pass. Wasn't that the game where it's like complete shit and then like modders basically modded their way into fixing it and then they paid to have yeah, those mod packs? I don't know about that. We got South Park Fractured but whole and then it's a steel book, the coon, and then on the back, Mysterion. That's a code. It is a code. It is to get. What is it to get? Add on content. Oh, somebody might get add on content. I mean, I've already used all the codes in these. So, unless they're like case sensitive, then it doesn't really matter. Steelbook for Spider Man. Because we got the collector's edition of it as well. We have the statue up on our wall. Another Whoa, Steelbook. Shelf. Before got a war, once again collector's edition. Yeah, someone wants it. Oh, there you go. Digital content. Hi, Hobbs. And there's Hobbs. Mr. Hobbs, what do you want, buddy? I'm gonna show how big this damn cat is. Come here. He is massive. Mr. Hobbs. And then the DC super villains. I said the back. This was actually the pre-order bonus, the steel book. It came in a normal case. Wait, you want to see it? And then the steel book, two injustice, two Batman and Superman. And then inside, there you go. We want hoppers. Dead Rising. They just rebooted this and slaughtered it. Like re-released it and censored it and edited it and everything else. So it's nice to know you have an original copy that is it going to be edited to Oblivion. A Dead Rising 2. Dead Rising 2. And one of my favorite game franchises, Senran Kagura, P3 Splash. You're supposed to play through that. However, as you can see from that cover right there. Wow. Uh, Senra Kagura. Right behind us. <laughs> what? Your wife is right behind Burst me. Renewal. There you go. There you go. Senron. Senron. And that is it. That is all of our uh, PlayStation stuff that we have physical still. Except for PS4 stuff, like I said. It's all packed up. Except, I guess. Um, we put right. some of it away. Because it was going to fall over if we did. As you can see from yeah. the leaning tower piece. Uh, this is, just in case you're wondering, that is the Stick of Truth Collectors. That is the Street Fighter 25th Anniversary. And that is the Saito 4 Collectors. There's a functioning uh, dubstep gun in that. Uh, Pull it out. There's also a, a bunch of stuff in this. Pull out the dubstep gun. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm these are just uh, some of our things. We just put them in the background so you wouldn't see them like the wall. But that is it. Hobbs for our game doing? collection, unless we decide to pull our PS2 one of these I want days, to lay there. then we will go through our PlayStation 2 games. But that is it for our game collection. Uh, thanks for watching.